Go. I'm here to talk, my name is Brandon, and I'm here to talk about uh, using the, the puck or the chest compression puck for the Phillips defibrillator. Basically what the puck does is we attach it to the patient and we can do compressions and it gives us instant feedback on whether the puck is getting pressed too hard, too soft, too slow, too fast. Um, but then, you know, the, then again, generally it's you want it as fast as you can, as long as the depth is appropriate. So um, automatically when you attach it to the patient, you ideally want to attach it right between the nipple line. Preferably the bottom of the puck is not as a little bit above the Zyfoot process, so you just so you don't break it. Um, and then you attach you start attaching it to the patient and automatically turn the defibrillator up to 150. So after 150, you'll see the screen. You actually see this part where it says compression, this red line. When you put pressure on it, you'll see a waveform, depending on the depth of pressure you do. So the more depth, the deeper the waveform goes or the higher amplitude the waveform goes. And looking at this screen, there is a screen on here that tells you how deep you need to press. You ideally want this little white line all the way to the bottom. And then if we're looking at the monitor, Brandon, where do you want that red line to hit? Um, ideally right about here, right on the bottom area. Yeah. So um, let me just show you how, like, how we attach it to. So you bring your patient. There's a little sticky here. These are replaceable, so I won't worry too much about it. Being attached to the patient right about here. Not really precise, but just, you know, just whatever's in a hurry. And then you start compressing. So I'm going to show the what it looks like on the monitor. So yeah, those are good compressions, Brandon. So those little white marks that are showing up uh, are indicating that Compress we're not faster. we're not doing full recoil. So Brandon, I tell Brandon as the compressor, uh, come up for full recoil. There you go. So we're getting better quality compressions, but compress faster. The rate is 90, so we want to go 100 to 120. There we go. So those are good compressions. Come up for full recoil. Release pressure between compressions. There we go. So that's what it should look like. All right. Okay. Another important note too is uh, just for the foaming purposes, we have me on the same side as the defibrillator. Ideally, I would be on the opposite side of the defibrillator, just so I could see the feedback. I mean, there is feedback in the puck, um, but it is a little easier to see the monitor seconds, and right, to get a better idea. Of compression. Yeah, and it, and on the monitor, it shows the rate. Um, and also, right here in this blue line, that is the CPR clock. So once Brandon started manipulating the puck, that goes for two minutes when this blue line goes all the way across. And that basically tells you when a full cycle, when a full cycle is up. All right, so uh, that's it for using the QCPR puck.